Hi, it's Jennifer from Adventures in Storytime, and today I'm going to share a couple of my warm-up or lead-in songs that are part of my beginning routine and I often use in conjunction with some of the welcome songs. So the first one I'm going to share is one I actually first learned from Jayberry, and it is called Hello Everybody. And so for this, you just have them do different motions, point to different party, body parts, um, whatever you want to do. So, so first I'll start with touching your nose and I'll ask them, everybody, can you find your nose? So everybody finds their nose and then we start. So, Hello everybody, can you touch your nose? Touch your nose, touch your nose. Hello everybody, can you touch your nose? touch your nose and then I might do pat your head so everybody find your head hello everybody can you pat your head pat your head pat your head hello everybody can you pat your head pat your head and can you wiggle your ears Hello everybody, can you wiggle your ears, wiggle your ears, wiggle your ears. Hello everybody, can you wiggle your ears, wiggle your ears. So you can do as many verses of that as you want with whatever motions you want. You can rub your tummy, stomp your feet, turn around, clap your hands, all kinds of things. So this is good when you have an audience who is a little subdued and may need to get warmed up as opposed to calming down. And it's really good with the younger kids because doing all these motions and being aware of body parts, uh, they're learning vocabulary, they're learning to follow instructions, and it also helps with their proprioception or awareness of where their body is in space and how it moves. So um, that's a real fun one. Another one that I have used for a very long time is a, a lead-in, you know, when I'm ready to read the first book. And I've always just called it our story song, and it's to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It. So it goes like this. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, nod your head. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, nod your head. Now with this one, I like this one also because you can do as many verses as you need. Um, you can start with very big motions if you have a group that is a little rambunctious and needs to calm down. So I might start with, you know, stomp your feet or turn around. Um, if I can incorporate things that go with the theme of the day. Um, so say if we're doing story time about dogs, I might say, you know, if you're ready for a dog story, then say arf arf or bow wow. Um, and I do try to incorporate the theme if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, um, if you're ready for a dinosaur story or whatever. If it doesn't fit, then I just repeat. And there's a few other versions that other people use for this, but I, um, but this works for me and I like because you can use as many verses as you want. And I usually have them end um, sitting down if they're not already sitting down and saying shh. And so that is a fun one. And the, the I use this also throughout the story time. Even if, say, we're getting to our second or third book and they've gotten, um, you know, a little worked up again and need to settle down, then I'll do a couple of quick verses of that. You know, if you're ready for a story, have a seat. And if you're ready for a story, say shh. And that clues them in, you know, it's time for another story and they get settled down again. So I, I use that one quite a bit. And I've even had some of the daycares that I used to vi visit say they have adopted it to use in the classroom as well. So, so those are the two main ones I use and if you know some other good ones, feel free to mention it in the comments. All right, and next time I will share some of my ending or goodbye songs, which um, several are, are just, you know, they're 
The same as the hello sign, just changing up the words, but there are a couple of unique ones. So I'll see you next time when we do goodbye songs.